What is up friends? It has been a really long time uh, since I've uploaded a video and I thought that I would just welcome myself back with a quick howdy doody and uh, I have a few packages that I am going to open and share with you guys. So um, yeah, anyways, I hope that you've been good. It's been a little over a month since my last video. Um, life, you know, just has a way of going so quickly. I don't know if you guys agree, but to me, it just seems like I can't keep up a lot of the times um, between running sonar and writing patterns and, you know, personal life and Katie, sorry, my cat's chewing on my tripod. Um, having a personal life and a relationship and a dog that I have to take care of and parents that, oh my gosh, Drizzy, she's biting the entire uh, metal tripod lifting it. But yeah, so anyways, um, life happened as it does. And within all of that, I've had a pretty good go of it. I hope that you guys have too. Um, I did have a minor scare. thought that I had COVID again because I had it back in January. Um, but I don't, thank goodness. Unfortunately, I did cancel a big trip to Colorado because I wasn't sure. And um, yeah, sometimes being responsible is really crappy. But yeah, so uh, my only symptom was I'd had a sore throat for a couple days and I tried to get rapid tested that morning of my flight um, and I couldn't, it, there just wasn't time. So yeah, we made the hard decision to cancel our trip. And as much as it sucked, um, I am thankful. It's a double-edged sword. I'm super thankful that I didn't end up having COVID and I was also really frustrated that we canceled the trip. However, you know, it was just a big trip in a short amount of time and we have other stuff coming up too so all in all at the end of the day life is good but that's what i've been up to um in the midst of all that i have been sewing and filling orders and things like that thankfully i'm taking the month of august off of uh, vending because it's just too damn hot here in the south i don't know how the weather is where you're at but it is just it's not worth it for me to be out in that heat so I hope wherever you are, um, you're staying cool and having fun, enjoying summer, especially if you have littles. And I just hope that life has been good. And I hope to get back to some regularity with posting. Um, but of course, you know me, no promises. That being said, let's get into the packages. So the first one is from Mormino. If you can't tell, it's kind of hard to see, it's so bright. Um, I ordered stuff, I ordered all this stuff a while ago, um, and I've just been letting it stack up because I knew that you guys like to see me do these videos, so I've been trying my best just to let them all stack up. So, ow, just pulled my, my little arm here. Let me scoot you down some. Oh, hold on. Hold, please. Let me scoot you down so that way you can see as I open the packages. Oh goodness, I am nailing it right now. I really wish YouTube allowed um, vertical videos. It would, then my head could be in this too. Super annoying. All right, let's see what I got from Lauren. Oh, that's right. So I ordered one of her zipper packs whenever she did the release. Oh yeah, and I got one of her pens, one of her marking pens. I see her use these in her videos and they always look like they work so well. So I'm excited to try these guys. It comes with silver ink, which um, I think will show up really great on cork. Cause a lot of times like the chalk doesn't leave a great line. So I will report back on how this works with cork. I can't get this bag untied, but I did ask for the least amount of packaging as possible. So I think that's why maybe it's in this bag. I've never ordered zippers from her before, but I'm just assuming that they would be individually packaged. But because I asked them not to, they aren't. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. So I got these Chevron zipper poles. I've been eyeing these in her shop for a while now. And when ordering her zippers, just thought, you know, what a perfect time. So I got this zipper pack color. I got, it's like a denim blue and then kind of like a meadow or a sage green and then a coral. And they all three have antique brass or light gold. I would call that brass. I'm going to use it with brass poles. 
And then of course I just got some more tags. I love her little tags. This one says I took forever to make. And then these say you look really pretty today. But I have a bunch of her tags and I always put them in my big bags that I make. This one, the make and thing cat hair, which this is pretty accurate. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, you know why. All right, so that is from Mormino. Okay, this one is fun. So I don't know if you guys have heard that super catchy song that's been going around. It would start as a TikTok song. Um, it's sorry started as a TikTok song and uh it's it just gone super viral um I can't say the entire title because there is a curse word in it but if you know what I'm talking about you will love the sticker so I ordered it all the way from the United Kingdom so it costs that much because it takes me beep hours I don't know if you guys have heard this song, but if you haven't, it's hilarious. It's incredible. I will link it below in the description. Um, this creator, her name is Whoa Dude Designs. Oh, hold on. I will be right back. Okay, sorry. Um, actually, <laughs> excuse me. The I got a phone call, a FaceTime call from somebody who was at the wedding that I was supposed to be at today out in Colorado, but couldn't because I canceled the trip because I thought I had COVID. Anyway, so it was a very lovely wedding. Um, it was storming quite a bit out there. So um, I don't know, but it was really cute. It was, yeah, my friend just looked gorgeous and I hate I missed her wedding, but I'm so glad that somebody there was willing to patch me in, but that's where I went. And now I'm back. So I got this sticker from Whoa Dude Designs. And then while on her site, I also ordered some other ones. Um, I got this little guy. So this is all original art that she draws. It says hanging by a thread. And then I got this little planet and it says, give me some space. And then something that you probably don't know about me, but potatoes are my favorite food. I've always said that I'm the bubble gump of potatoes. I've never met one that I didn't like. Just every single preparation is my favorite. And so I got this little potato that says, nah, that's kind of my general attitude as well. So I don't know. I just, this is a perfect self portrait, but yeah, so woe dude designs. Um, I will link her below. Let's see what's next. Oh, okay. So this I have, oh, it's all wet, weird, gross. Um, it's been on my sewing table. I noticed some weird dried stuff on my sewing desk the other day or the, today and it kind of smells like coffee i wonder if i spilled coffee i don't really know but anyways the bottom of this package is all wet and i was not expecting that thank goodness it is in waterproof um packaging so anyways i got this from fabric funhouse i have no idea what it is i don't remember ordering Okay, so I definitely did not order this, but I'm so excited that they sent this to me. So this is some new edge coat colors. Look at all of those. They're, they're the neon colors. So we got white, fluorescent orange, fluorescent yellow, lime green, blue and then hot pink. I'll have to use this hot pink on something for my husband because that's his favorite color. Oh, that's so cute. And then in this package, they sent ooh, some iridescent gloss. So this is the color changing gloss. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Okay. I just have to think about stuff I want to use this on. And then some black. So I'm going to have to do some research. I wonder if you have to do, I'm thinking you have to do a black base and then you put this on top to make it have the glow or the, the color change. Um, I wonder if you do white underneath. I don't know. I'll have to look into this and play around with this. I'm thinking maybe since these two, the black and the iridescent are packaged together that you have to use these together and then I would think that you'd have to use a base coat and then use white and then use one of the fluorescents to get a really bright color. 
But look at this packaging, that's so cute. What a nice little surprise. I love getting mail that I have no idea what it is and this really made my day. Oh look, what do you know, it comes with, oh, it came with, it comes with, it comes with like very, very general directions but not um, super in depth for the iridescent. But I will try those and do a video. Okay, let's see, we've got two more packages. So this one I ordered, um, I discovered this shop. Oh, nice, she uses eco and clothes packaging, which if, uh, that's what I use as well. They create their shippers so that you can use them twice. I love their stuff. But I found this shop owner on Instagram at first, I think, and then I follow her on TikTok. And she's just a really cool, uh, she seems like a really cool human, like somebody that I would become fast friends with if we lived closer or, you know, if I knew her in real life. But I finally got the opportunity to buy some fabric from her. I needed to update some of my fabrics anyways. Um, you guys know how it is whenever you just use the same stuff over and over. So I got some new lines and this is, the new line by Juicy Juice. It's his deco line. Mustard is my favorite color, so I've had to get two yards of that. But this color is really pretty. It's like a, like a lilac color. This is a cool design. Oh, and then I got this design in three different colors. The sea foam's really nice, and then this like Bordeaux. Ooh, kind of matches my hair. So I got those from Ju 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 Juicy Juice, geez, sorry. And then what is this one? Modern Florals Illustration. I can't remember. This one is, oh, this is a Moda fabric. And the designer is Ali K, A-L-L-I-K. I love this because it's kind of like a really interesting neutral that you could put on the inside of any color bag. So it's like gray with black illustrations. And then I picked up these moons and stars. These were on sale. It was only six bucks a yard. I figured this would be, it's a fun little liner um, or could be great for any sort of kids items. This is an Andover fabric print. And then lastly, I got this print which is from the Smoke and Rust line by Moda Fabric Fabrics. And it's a, I can't read the, I can't read the designer's name. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. I don't know if you can read that. That's that cursive section. But if you go on Wildwood, um, Wildwood's website, I think it's called Wildwood Creative. Yeah. If you go on Wildwood Creative, then you will see all of these on there. But this art or this deco just speaks to my heart. This is very much how, um, this is just has my design aesthetic. All it, this is me right here. Just very graphic, but minimal and interesting but not like overwhelming, which is kind of, it's, I guess that could be how I would describe myself. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can be a little overwhelming sometimes. You'd have to ask somebody else that. Okay, and then lastly, so this is a maker out of Atlanta and I've been following her for a while now and I finally, was able to purchase from her. The last two updates she did, I missed. Um, and so I'm really excited. I got to finally order and get some of her makes. And so she makes handcrafted soap. Oh my gosh, the box smells so good. But so she handcrafts all of these soaps and they normally sell out so fast, but last time I checked, there were still a few left. So be sure to pop over and check her out. If you can see, so this is, her soap. Um, so she uses uh, all natural stuff. Let me see. 
natural bar soap crafted with fresh fruit and vegetables. So that's the difference with her line of soaps is that she uses real fruits and vegetables. It's so cool. If you follow her on Instagram, you can see um, her process. And so you see her grinding up carrots and mixing it with honey and, you know, just all of the different combinations. So this one is raw raspberries, cranberry, and yogurt. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I've seriously been waiting to get my hands on some of her soap for so long. So I'm super excited. And I use bar soap all the time just because it cuts down on plastic and, you know, just not having that added waste. And so I love that there's no plastic in her, um, in her line. You're not going to find plastic at all. So this is the raw raspberry. It's very like clean smelling. I don't know if the smells are mixing because they were all in the same box together, but it almost is like tart, but very clean. That was okay. So there's that one. Um, okay. This is the one that I had my eye on for a while, right? Yes. Okay. So this one is lemon and poppy seed and I've been watching this for months and I finally caught it. It looks so yummy. It's crazy that these are actually, oh wow, this smells like super lemony, but not like annoyingly so, just very summery. Ugh. Okay, lemon poppy seed. And I don't know what this one is because the little thing fell off. But it smells good. I don't really want to bore you with trying to figure out what it is. Um, I, it's kind of like mango. It's got this really pretty yellow color. But anyways, so this is the Body Cove out of Atlanta. Um, small, woman-owned, black-owned, um, all-natural, and just super incredible. Uh, a lot of... Um, really fun Instagram stories. If you are into fun Instagram stories, be sure to check her out. And of course I will tag her below and let you know how the actual soaps go. Like how they're, I can feel them rubbing off of my hands dry and they're nice and um, not waxy, but like lotion-y. You could probably use this as a dry lotion bar. But anyway, so that's my latest haul of a bunch of random stuff. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video. It ran kind of long just because of, you know, m me being talkative. But I've missed you guys, and I hope that you've all been doing well. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you want me to edge coat with a fluorescent coat with. And then um, my zip tapes, you know, if you have any ideas or suggestions, be sure to let me know. And until I make another video. My next video coming up is the Tasty Old Tote. If you haven't seen that pattern, it released a couple weeks ago um, and I'm going to be working on the video and I will have it for release early next week, mid, mid next week, by Wednesday at the latest. So that will be my next video. So it won't be so long until you see me next time. But until then, be excellent to each other, wash your hands, and just be be sweet out there, y'all. Talk to you soon.